Dante's box and they said, what's going on, guys? So Ryan Garcia, who was just at the Tyson Fury versus Usyk fight in Saudi Arabia not that long ago, he was walking around the audience acting like he had respect for all of them. But deep down in his heart, he felt the same way about Muslims that Donald Trump feels about Muslims. In fact, in that audio that went viral with Ryan Garcia going on his racial rant where he was dissing black people and Muslims, he titled that live Trump 2024. Now, what makes that situation so ironic is because what won Donald Trump the election, I think back in 2016, was his hatred towards Mexicans in particular. Once Donald Trump said that Mexicans were criminals, they're drug dealers and rapists, he had already won the election because he was willing to say something that so many racist Americans wanted to say. And from that point on, it didn't matter what type of scandal that Donald Trump was involved in, he was guaranteed to win the election. And this is the reason when I tell y'all that Ryan Garcia, if you're going to say he needs help, he needs to see a shrink. This is what he needs to see a shrink for. Because Ryan Garcia, he wants to vote for the person that wants to kick his entire race out of the country. Donald doesn't even want the Mexicans that were born in this country here. So Ryan Garcia is basically a Mexican Candace Owens, pushing the MAGA rhetoric. As long as you hate your own race just as much as they do, they will accept you. At least they will accept what you have to say. Every single thing Ryan Garcia said, it aligns with the MAGA propaganda. But I don't think Ryan realizes how many bridges he's burned. For example, it's not going to be wise for Ryan Garcia to show up in Saudi Arabia again. And that's unfortunate because Saudi Arabia, Turkey al Sheikh, he's trying to take over the sport. I mean, his name is growing faster and faster. And if you guys have noticed, before Ryan Garcia pulled this stunt, Ryan, he likes to be at all the fights. After he got caught cheating, he made sure to show up at all of the events, even the events in Saudi Arabia. But he would be a fool to show up there now. Saudi Arabia is one of the most populated Muslim countries in the world, and it's one of the most strictest Muslim countries in the world. It's not like America, where half of the people, they call themselves Christian, but they don't even really follow the religion, like Ryan Garcia, for example. That's why if someone were to say F Christians in America, nobody is going to care. Well, I can guarantee you it's not that way in Saudi Arabia. I've seen big Muslim YouTube channels talking about what Ryan Garcia did. They didn't even know who Ryan Garcia was. They only knew him because of what he said about Muslims. Now let's go to another piece of news, which is the spat, the fight online between this boxer named Ryan Garcia, who is a Christian or he claims to be Christian. He's always tweeting about how Jesus is king, Christ is king, Jesus is Lord, I worship Jesus, etc. He has been having an argument with our very own brother Muhammad Hijab. Uh, Ryan Garcia, this boxer, okay? And or is he like some amazing boxer? Does anyone know? Like, like, I think he just had like maybe one match, like one big match. And he's like thrusted into this kind of popularity with over a million followers. Uh, but yeah, the, he quotes tweet, he quote tweets this kosher guy and on Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab in this, in the clip, he's talking to Sneeko and he's talking about how, you know, the, the age of Aisha radiallahu anha, our mother, mother of the believers to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then Ryan Garcia responds. He says, WTF, nah, lock him up. He just justified blank a 13 year old because it won't hurt her medically mentally that little girl will not be okay <laughs> that little 13 year old f you whatever your name is pedo so this is how he attacked uh, muhammad hijab that tweet was seen by 9 million people that was the reach of that tweet 9 million so then he also had this tweet muhammad hijab is a pdf file but then he deleted that tweet probably because it, it's libel <laughs> It's defamation, and he could be held accountable for that. But look, 1.5 million people. And this is what they do to Muslims. Guys, Ryan Garcia, he is making history and breaking records in the worst way. This is literally the most racist thing that any boxer has ever said in the entire history of the sport. And according to reports, Ryan Garcia, he could be back in the ring nine months from now. And that's just going to be more history making for Ryan Garcia. It's going to be the first time we're going to see the most racist boxer of all time fighting against someone. I don't know where he's going to choose to fight. I don't know how the security is going to be. Maybe everything is going to be okay. Maybe these black fighters, they all going to be giving him dap and hugs and acting like he never said anything. 
but I got a feeling he won't get that kind of reception if he goes back to Saudi Arabia. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Okay, so then it came out that Ryan Garcia is like a really disgusting racist. Like, he's a vile racist. I don't know why Christians were celebrating him and promoting him, uh, but these audio uh, discussions came out from Twitter, like Twitter spaces, these or X spaces, where Ryan Garcia is spewing the most vile anti-black racism. He just keeps saying the N-word. He uh, says there's no such thing as Palestine. He says that, you know, he's the KKK and all of this. Let's listen to what he says. So this is this is the hero for a lot of Christians, actually, unfortunately. Bro, he's retarded. There's no such thing as Israel. There's no such thing as Palestine. If God chose the Israel people to be the promised people, that's it. We don't have no choice, you fucking weirdos. There's no such thing as Palestine. There's no such thing as Palestine. You dumb mother. If you don't go, if you go against Israel, you go against God's promise. Go against Israel, you go against God's promise. Go anti these Bro, I hate them. Go anti me. Go. Are you black? I. Yeah. So just a lot of the bleeps are the N word. Like you just. Keep spamming the N word. I'm anti black. I'm anti black. <laughs> yeah, let's join the Ku Klux Klan. Let's f the niggas. Yeah, I'm KKK. I hate KKK. And he's using the N word with a hard R. Okay. I'm the leader of KKK and I summon you to be the knight in charge. No, nah, nigga, I'm KKK. No, Nick, I'm getting kicked. I'm like, I've got the AK-47 ready. Let's let's get the next George Floyd. Hey, 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 look. I got the AK-47. Let's get the next George Floyd. I'm the KKK. This is this is not some random guy off the street. This is you know a celebrated Christian boxer, and this this is the public. This is not like a private conversation he was having. This is he was he know he knew he was being recorded. He was on a Twitter Space. And this is how he's talking. So clearly he has some kind of mental issues. Uh, he definitely is a drug addict, uh, has some substance abuse problems. And this is where it's leading him to. Hey, let's go bring George Floyd back to life and kill that again. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my knee on his neck. We need a scientist. Yeah, bring George Floyd back and we're going to kill him again with our AK-47 because we're the KKK. This let, is Ryan. Let me go in on these niggas. What's up? Hey, hey, niggas. Okay, now what? I know, really. F that nigga. Relax. Let, let, let me go in on these. Niggas. What's up? Hey, f you and f Muslims that f rape little kids. Bro, f all you motherfuckers, bro. You guys are weird as fuck. All you Muslim ass fucking weird ass fucker. No, f all you Muslims. So he, he's addressing this is addressing Muhammad Hijab and addressing Muslims in general. F all of you. You're going to regret saying all. So that's Sneeko. He's saying you're gonna regret saying all this. Guess what? Guess what? I will never be touched because I'm a god. I'm a Jesus. I'll never be touched because I'm a god. Sneeko says you're gonna regret saying all this, all these slurs, saying f all Muslims. And Ryan Garcia responds that no one can touch me. I'm a god. You know, it's just your average Christian celebrity. Oh my God, you're an idiot. Right? Sneeko regrets what he says, and think Ryan gonna regret what he said. I won't. I, I'm not regretting it. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not. I've never been touched in my life. So this is, you know, someone who this is the kind of person that's critiquing Muslims. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to L.O. Like them on Facebook. Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.